Hi there and welcome to this Two Minute Tips video and today we're going to be looking at iButton functionality during playback for still images. Whereas during shooting the iButton can be programmed and when you press it you get a menu of the selected functionality along the bottom of the screen. When you're in playback mode and you press the iButton you get a menu in the centre of the screen which has different options depending on whether you're looking at still images or videos. So in this video we're going to look at the functionality that appears when you press the iButton during the playback of still images. So let's take a look at the functionality that you get from the I button during playback. If you go into the playback mode, now the playback button is the top left corner of the back of the camera on the Z6 and Z7 and the bottom right hand corner on the Z50. So if you're in playback mode and you then press the I button, you'll see a menu comes up in the center of the screen with various options on it. The first option is rating and in here you can give a number of stars from 1 to 5 to any image to give it a rating. Um, in the manual it says this rating is then carried through into the Nikon software. I've tried it with Adobe Lightroom and it's also carried through into Lightroom. So if you're using Lightroom there may be a reason why you want to highlight some of your images in field if you've reviewed them. You may find that rating is greyed out. And what I found is for it to become um, selectable, you've got to go down to the next option, which is select or deselect to send. This option allows you to denote whether an image will be passed to a smart device or a PC when you connect. If the image is set to send to a smart um, device or PC, then rating is greyed out. So if you go to an image and you deselect it for sending, then you'll find the rating um, option becomes active again. If you go down past select or deselect to send you've got retouch and there's quite a lot of options within retouch so we'll cover those in a separate video but you can retouch your image in the field or on the go. If you come down to the next option choose folder in here you can select which folder you're playing back the next option, Protect, it allows you to, if you've got a keeper of an image, you can protect an individual image so you can't delete it. So you just select the image and press Protect. The final option is Unprotect All. And this allows you to reset all the protection across all of the images. There is one final option which becomes um, available if you've zoomed in on an image. So for example, you've used the pinch zoom or you've use the magnifying glass with a plus sign to zoom in a bit and this is quick crop so you can zoom in on an image and then choose quick crop and it will save a jpeg of that crop of the image however one thing to be aware of on this functionality is it's not available when the histograms are displayed so how much of this functionality are you using? Let us know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell below and you'll be notified of future videos. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video.